Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Cuvelos, and today for Reader's Workshop, we're going to have you notice how the author helps you make vivid pictures in your mind. What does that mean exactly? Well, let's look at our anchor chart over here. Right here we have you, the reader, and here's your imagination. A good author uses words that helps you so that when you're reading in your mind you can picture exactly what they're talking about this isn't just a picture of a boy outside here's the boy maybe his sister was with him there's the cat and flowers there's a swing or two birds flying the more details that an author gives when they are writing a story the better you can make a picture in your mind of what they're trying to describe. The word vivid just means very clear. And the more details an author gives, the more vivid those pictures in your mind could be. Day three, readers ask questions like, how do authors paint a vivid picture with their words? Well, if you remember, this week we're talking about the story, The Rough Face Girl. And I was kind of trying to figure out what parts made it very specific, very vivid. But the thing is, you can use this more, I think, when you're using a chapter book. Because when students are reading chapter books, they really do have to use their mind, use their imagination, along with the author's words, to really figure out what the author is talking about and the better the words that an author uses the easier it is to paint those pictures now when we were talking about the rough face girl the version we read on monday was a picture book so along with the picture book came some pictures to help you realize this i believe was a picture from when the rough face girl was walking and it was just saying when she was on her way to see the Invisible Man, how she really appreciated nature. She wasn't looking in the sky for the Invisible Man, but she was noticing nature around her, noticing the trees and the clouds and the rainbow and the birds. And she was just so appreciative. And, but yet look, the author is kind of showing us a face there, do you see? So in this book, that we were reading on Monday for our read aloud, the author is kind of not only using words to help you picture something, but because it's a picture book, yes, they're giving you pictures also. So boys and girls, when you are doing your independent reading this week on your series or your fairy tales, what I'd like you to do is especially if it's a series and like a chapter book, something like that, there aren't as many pictures. So when you're reading, notice how the author make, helps you make vivid pictures in your mind. And remember, the way they do that is with their words.